Super Mario Brothers has been the epitomic franchise of Nintendo ever since their flagship title of the same name delighted gamers and changed the industry forever back in 1985. The iconic characters introduced in this series have been shoo-ins for many Nintendo multiplayer games, and Super Smash Bros. is of course no exception. Starting with Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 64, Mario and Luigi entered the fray as the sole Mushroom Kingdom representatives. Yoshi and Donkey Kong also appeared, but despite originating in games with Mario, they fall under their own respective franchises. Next, in Melee, Princess Peach was added in addition to the Super Mario Bros. antagonist, Bowser. Also making his Smash debut was Dr. Mario, who played very similarly to Mario for obvious reasons. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Dr. Mario was cut, and no new Mushroom Kingdom reps were added, although the game did add Wario, who, like Yoshi, originated in a Mario game. Smash 4 returned the medical degree that Mario had worked so hard for, bringing Dr. Mario back to the roster. The Wii U and 3DS Smash title also introduced Rosalina and Luma from the Super Mario Galaxy series and Bowser Jr. with the option to choose any of Bowser's Koopaling offspring as alternate costumes. Finally, Smash Ultimate brought all of these characters back and added Piranha Plant as a DLC bonus, as well as including Princess Daisy as an Echo Fighter of Peach. Or is Peach an Echo Fighter of Daisy? Hmm. So if you're sticking with the Mushroom Kingdom, which character will get you to the top of that flagpole? Well, Mario, but if you want to win tournaments or get to Elite Smash, the answer might not be so obvious. In this video, we're going to break down each of these classic Mario characters and figure out who you should main to get the best results in Smash Ultimate. If you're looking to learn even more, click on over to ProGuides.com for all sorts of competitive Smash resources. Want to learn how to play a character? We've got a guide for them. Want instant access to a coach? We've got that too. We've even got exclusive pro courses featuring some of the world's best players like MKLeo, so check out ProGuides.com as soon as you finish this video. Anyway, when we're talking about the Mushroom Kingdom, there's no better character to start with than... Piranha Plant! Okay, just kidding, we'll start with Mario. Ever since his first inclusion in Smash 64, Mario has been a brawler type that wants to get up close and rack up combos with aerials and tilts. In Smash Ultimate, Mario has some of the best combos in the game. At low percents, he can combo an up throw into a down air and finish with an up B for some solid opening damage. At mid percents, he can convert a down throw, down tilt, up tilt, nair, or up air into multiple rising up airs, ending with an up B in most cases. These up air combos can tack on tons of damage and with the right platform setups can even KO opponents off the top with no escape. In addition to his combos, Mario also excels in movement and frame data. He has excellent aerial mobility and decent ground speed, and very quick aerial attacks with low enough cooldown to perform two within one short hop. Mario can sometimes struggle to close out stocks, but his intangible up smash acts as a great anti-air and out of shield option that KOs at high percents. Mario has seen the best tournament results in the hands of Dark Wizzy, who has multiple strong placings and good wins with the character. Mario's twin brother Luigi got a pretty significant overhaul in Smash Ultimate with the addition of his Poltergust Tether Grab. Despite the changes to the grab itself, Luigi still gets amazing combos off of throws as he has in previous Smash iterations. Luigi's down throw starts combos at almost any percent, letting him deal plenty of damage at early percents and take stocks at higher percents with conversions into up B and down B. If that wasn't enough, Luigi even has a zero to death combo out of his down throw which is guaranteed on many characters, so you really don't want to get grabbed by Luigi. Despite his explosive combo game, Luigi is incredibly slow in the air, has an exploitable recovery due to the lack of a diagonal trajectory, and his new grab is slow and laggy, making it a big commitment to go for. Luigi is best represented in tournaments by Elegant, who continues to push the character's metagame and make upsets. Dr. Mario trades the cap for a stethoscope, but has a very similar moveset to his less educated doppelganger. Doc is slower overall, but hits a bit harder than Mario. He can also string aerials together in combo out of throws, but his combos are quite lacking compared to Mario's. Although he can gain additional height with his Dr. Tornado down special, Doc's recovery travels less distance than Mario's and makes him very easy to gimp. Dr. Mario is a top tier pick in the ER, but in Smash, you're better off with a plumber. Dr. Mario has shown up in tournaments as one of Louis Money's character choices. Princess Peach is not in another castle this time. She's probably busy comboing you across the stage with float cancelled nares. Peach has amazing low percent combos stemming from her neutral air and down tilt, which can lead to 50, 60, or even 70% off of one hit at zero. 
Her unique float mechanic allows her to control space in a way that no other character can, and also lets her use her amazing aerials at ground height so she can space them extremely low and land instantly thereafter for insane pressure. Peach isn't particularly fast in terms of movement, but she more than makes up for it with her combos, zoning with float aerials, and turnip projectiles. Daisy plays exactly the same as Peach, but with more enthusiasm. Yay! Peach has incredible tournament results piloted by Sam Sora, who has taken sets off of MKLeo and won multiple tournaments with her. Bowser is the heaviest character in the game and one of the strongest, too. He's designed to power through many situations, with his special tough guy mechanic that lets him armor any attack that has low enough knockback. And he even has both heavy armor and intangibility on all of his grounded normals besides dash attack. Bowser can build up damage quickly with his early to mid percent up throw combos, and his insanely fast frame 6 side B is a command grab that deals plenty of damage and KOs reliably at high percents. Bowser's massive hurtbox size makes him easy to hit in combo, but also gives him tons of range and option coverage, making it very hard to land or get off the ledge against him. Last but certainly not least, Bowser's up B comes out on frame 6 and is an amazing out of shield option, making it difficult to pressure him without getting punished. Oh, and if you're off stage against Bowser, good luck avoiding his forward air. That move covers in front of, and for some reason above and below Bowser. In tournaments, Leon has shown that Bowser is a legitimate tournament threat, placing second to defend the north. Although stripped of some of her Smash 4 glory, we had to do it, Rosalina still has many great strengths. Coupled with her infamous Luma companion, Rosalina can outrange pretty much any character in control space effectively. She has a few decent low percent combos, but really shines when the opponent is in the air or off stage. With Luma there to assist, Rosalina's up air is very large and makes for excellent juggling, especially since she can also trap landings with dash attack and up smash. Off stage, Rosalina has incredible edge guarding with her large multi hit forward air and down air, which can spike if Rosa's halo connects or KO off the side from the Luma hit. Rosalina also has some specific advanced techniques that let her and Luma perform different actions together. The most common is a dash attack cancelled grab, which results in Luma dash attacking while Rosalina dash grabs for an amazing approach option. The techniques get more advanced with attack cancelling, where Luma can perform a ground move while Rosalina uses an aerial. As for downsides, Rosa is pretty tall, so she can be easy to hit, and she's vulnerable without Luma and when recovering. Rosalina is one of the Buzz's main character picks in tournaments, placing second at Let's Make Big Moves. Bowser Jr. isn't quite ready to fight on his own two feet, so he drives a cart into battle instead. Jr. can set up combos and traps with his Mecha Koopa item, and he can also start up air strings via his up throw or his side B. Side B gives him a versatile approach option, as he can cancel this move with a jump and pressure shields with a safe aerial. Bowser Jr. has some of the best smash attacks in the game, with tons of knockback on his forward and up smash, which are multi-hits. Forward smash is very hard to punish on shield, and it can even two-frame recoveries. Junior has telegraphed approach options, however, and he's generally slow and struggles to land and escape combos. His recovery also abandons the cart temporarily, making him very easy to gimp with sometimes as little as one hit. Bowser Jr. doesn't have many notable tournament results, but players like Young Eevee continue to push the character in bracket. Smash Ultimate's Piranha Plant came as a surprise to many fans, and the character's quirky moveset fits this odd theme. Plant is pretty slow and has lackluster frame data and combos, but it boasts some interesting and effective special moves. Neutral B, otherwise known as Patui, yeah, that's actually what it's called, spits a spiky ball from the plant's mouth. This can take stocks from offstage opponents, and it also acts as a great combo breaker as it will fall down and hit a character after they hit the plant. Side B is another useful special, firing a cloud of poisonous gas that can deal massive amounts of damage and covers options as well. Plant is also pretty heavy, so it can survive for a long time, and up smash and up throw are reliable KO options on stage. Piranha Plant has seen some notable results in upsets played by Brood of Japan, placing second at Umibura SP4. Alright, the time has come to name the best character in the Mushroom Kingdom, and our pick is... Peach! I mean... Daisy! I, I mean... P Peach! Uh... There's no way to not disappoint people with this one, is there?
Well, whichever princess you prefer, Peach and Daisy have amazing combos in neutral game thanks to the potential of float. And Samsora and Mewdace's tournament results continue to remind us that Peach is an incredibly capable top tier character, so she's our pick for the best of the Super Mario Bros. series. Who do you think is the best of the Mushroom Kingdom? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications so you never miss what we upload next.